like mainly we were just uh, we were buying the the vinyl ourselves, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, buying the, the the product that we were going to sell. Um, vinyl just seemed like a more substantial option mm -hmm. to spend our own money on. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we just thought that uh, it was a better investment. You know, I think we all looked at like our own CD collections over the years and how um, how they had kind of become really damaged. Like they just kind of lived on the floorboards of our cars and, yeah. and that kind of thing. So. Um, but we, we kept our records in kind of like a, a sacred space in our house, you know, so we just thought that it made more sense for us to save up and, and purchase vinyl to sell as opposed to CDs. Makes know. sense. Yeah. Uh, so all your, a lot of your videos, like uh, I Start to Run or Shake, 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 they have this um, kind of post-apocalyptic kind of um, angle on them. What was the concept for that? Um, you know, that concept... Uh, it really has a lot to do with the director of those of those two videos. This guy Tom Haynes, he's a, a Londoner, and um, I think that he just heard our music, and and that's kind of what he thought of. Um, just kind of like a dangerous, kind of a chaotic kind of environment, you know. So I don't know. We just went with it. He showed us uh, a few things, like examples of his previous work, and we did the Shake 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 video with him first, and had a really great time, and thought it turned out really well. So. Uh, went back to him for Start to Run. Yeah. Well, in about three days, I think you could probably do another one outside at the general camping area yeah, in Bonnaroo. Well, it gets very I Mad bet. Max, really? so uh, it fit right in. Yeah. Um, so you guys toured with Wilco in January and February. What was that like for you? Were you guys big fans before? Yeah, yeah really big fans. All of us uh, all of us have a <clears throat> tremendous amount of respect for, for what those guys have done over the years, um, especially big fans of the... Uh, like the Loose Fur Project, Tweedy and Kochi and uh, Jim O'Rourke, and and uh, just like the whole thing is it's really cool. We were thrilled to be able to do that. Um, they were really welcoming to us and encouraging of what we were doing. Um, the experience was a little bit nerve-wracking from time to time, <laughs> as it was, a, it was our first time to play in, in front of uh, a really massive seated audience, so it was kind of a different thing because we we tend to play a lot of notes and, and kind of have like a high energy like yeah. rock and roll show, you know, um, so it was a little bit interesting to try and like, you know, have, have a gauge response from people who are sitting down like <laughs> kind of watching that, you know. Well, talking about adjusting your show, um, are there any kind of major adjustments that you make whenever you come to a festival like Bonnaroo versus a... The, uh, you know, the festival thing is, I, I think that we feel really at home on these kind of uh, in these kind of environments, you know, because at least for us, there are a lot of people that are seeing us for the first time or um, just kind of walking by, maybe you know, kind of hearing it from far away. And our our immediate like our first impulse is always to just like attack. I mm -hmm. guess we go into this kind of like band mode where we um, tie all the tunes together and and kind of do like a high energy thing. So I think that that tends to work in in this outdoor environment. Um, a little bit better than the seated audience thing. Yeah. Know, but, um, Everybody's but yeah, already it, out, out it, moving around. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Feels, it feels pretty natural for us to do to do gigs like this. We're really looking forward to it. Okay. So, um, is there any... Your, your music is quite, like, complex um, and eclectic, I guess, is the way I'd really describe it. Are there any albums that you guys have been listening to, maybe that the whole band likes um, in the van recently? Um, let's see. Everybody, everybody has a really deep respect for one another's taste. I think that that's kind of the thing that uh, that like glues the band together because we all kind of like different things. Um, but there's this constant kind of exchange of, of uh, you know different different records and things. It's, it's hard to think of just one one record that we've been listening to a lot lately. I don't know. Steve would be better at that. Like I, I don't. <laughs> Yeah, I really, I don't know. Yeah, we've been listening to a lot of Thin Lizzy. Um, That's always a good thing. Dire Straits, which I'm, I, I like Dire Straits. I'm kind of opening up to it, but the, the other three guys are super into Dire Straits. Um, and uh, what else have been, been listening to a lot? Like it Nick seems Lowe. Like, it seems know. like Thin Lizzy's making like this huge, like, I don't know, underground comeback. Thin Everyone, Lizzie, yeah. I just see t-shirts popping up everywhere. Yeah. It's, it's a great thing. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. Thin Lizzy is 
sounds awesome. Yeah. You know, it's it's an easy thing for all of us to kind of like cruise down the road to. You know? Yeah. It's, like, it's good driving music. Yeah, good driving music. Well, uh, is there anything that you're really wanting to check out while you're here before you guys have to head out? I have to head out tonight, so I, I kind of uh, I haven't even really tempted myself with, with looking <laughs> at the uh, yeah with with looking at the lineup. I'll probably watch uh, this band. Uh, I really wanted to see this band, the Cave Singers, that yeah. are playing right now. Mm -hmm. um, so I might try and scoot over there and catch the last bit of their set. Um, and I've never heard Fantagram. They're playing after us, so I'll probably watch them. Maybe stick around for Alabama Shakes. I'm not not quite sure. Gotcha. I, hope, I hope to. Well, cool. Well, I hope you have a great festival. Yeah, thank Thanks you. Thanks so much. Me too. Yeah, of course.